When it comes to success in music or any area of your life, you've got to be willing to do stuff even when you feel like don't doing it. You know, even when you're tired, when you're exhausted, when you just, you're not stoked, right? Like, you know, you know, the difference between the successful writers and the ones that aren't, you know, you don't just write when inspiration hits, you write because you're disciplined and you, and you put in the work, you put in a little bit of time. And I gotta be honest, I've been in marketing mode for my new album lately. Um, so I haven't been writing lately, which is not in alignment with my goals. And I have to say to myself, Chris, like even 15 minutes, 20 minutes, just noodling some ideas, getting some song titles, uh, melodies, even a few lyrics, a few hooks, that puts me in such a better position when I go down to really lay stuff down. But I go, oh, well, I don't have an hour. I don't have two hours. And I disregard the, the 15 minutes that I do have or the 10 minutes I do have. Like even for this video today, uh, I'm moving. I had a lot going on in the last bit. I got a new car here as well too. Uh, it's a Toyota Corolla hybrid. Uh, it's so quiet. Uh, I really, really enjoy it. Uh, we downsized uh, from a truck. Um, we got the truck because uh, I was still thought I was gonna tour and right now I'm, I'm not touring. And uh, if I do tour again, we're just gonna rent whatever I need. And I'd rather have that money in the truck, that equity working for me in an asset because a car is not an asset, okay? You want something in like real estate or something so it's pumping out cash for you, you know what I'm saying? But the point that I'm trying to make is that I didn't feel like doing certain things today. I've been promoting this new album for like, I don't even know how long, okay? This album I run with Wolves, we've done the Kickstarter, I've released all the singles. I even told some of my students, like, you know, we released like eight to 10 singles off of this 12 track album. And I'm, I'm tired of even talking about it. Even my wife, I'm wearing this sweater right now. Like I'm stoked about this album and a lot of fans have got it. It's done really well. And the reason I do release singles though, is because it forces me to promote. Because I know just like you, just like me, we get tired. And we go, we want to go into the next shiny object where I can't jump to the next shiny object. I got to focus on our run with wolves. And um, we were delayed with the uh, the video and the song. And I'm kind of bummed out because we released the song um, first before we had the video because the video wasn't done yet. And now it's, it's very obvious that the video is not getting nearly as much streams because the song is already out. So it's kind of like... You, I, it's like I spoiled it, you know what I mean? So my recommendation, my new recommendation is if you're gonna release the video, do it with the song, you know? Don't save it, have it. Now, um, I can't prove this, but I bet if I even waited another week or two to release the video, it would have gotten even more streams. Now, obviously, who cares, right? Like. I'm gonna. I can run YouTube's ad to that YouTube ads to that thing right now, and I can blow it up and get a whole bunch of eyeballs and ears on it and stuff like that, and get thousands more streams. I can market it. Okay, so you never, you never go. Oh, it's too late. No, I'm gonna use that video in Facebook ads and all kinds of stuff. Like I'm just, I'm just ramping up. But the problem is, is like, you get tired sometimes. You get tired. I get tired. You get tired. But take the respite. Go get an Earl Grey tea. I think this is actually an English breakfast. Get yourself a tall ice water, okay? Recharge a little bit. I got some almonds, I got dark chocolate. Wrote a bunch of emails, did a bunch of things to promote my song, and guess what's gonna happen today? I'm gonna make sales. Like, it's not an if, it's like I'm going to. But so many of us, we chase these shiny objects, and we chase them, because they look like a new opportunity. And then like, oh crap, well that, that requires work. Oh man, Chris, Manifest, oh, Smart Music Business. Like, you know, you tell me about a million monthly followers and all this different stuff and Spotify Profits ebook and oh, I gotta put work in? Yeah, dude, you gotta put work in. Like, I don't even feel like doing stuff sometimes. And it's music, I love music. I'm proud of this song. Like, why do I not wanna promote it? Just because I'm human sometimes and you're human sometimes and you, and you get tired. You know, I think it's Isaiah 40, 31 says in the Bible, even young men will get weary and people get tired, but those that wait upon the Lord, they'll renew their strength. 
And sometimes you just need to sleep. You need to renew your strength. I went and took a quick 45 minute nap, a little siesta. What's up, Mexico? They take uh, siestas, I think, every afternoon. Um, and just take a little break, recharge. Went to Starbucks and go, went pounded out some work, man. I'm going to go pound out a little bit more and then I'm just going to chill, right? But I want to put in stuff. I might even work tonight, you know, because I I'm passionate about this and I still got goals. I got to make sure I'm working on the right stuff, though. And there's still more stuff I need to automate. There's still more stuff I need to delegate. <sighs> way more stuff, but I'm, I'm learning and I'm growing. I promise I'm 10 Xing. We're going to 10 million monthly listeners. We're just about to hit 1 million, 100,000 monthly listeners. Like I feel like now we've got the momentum and this is what I want to encourage. And I've used this example is that you got me and then you got Johnny. We both started at one listener a month, but I stayed on Spotify the next month. Johnny jumped to YouTube. I stayed on Spotify for month two, and now I've got 200 monthly listeners. Johnny decided, oh, TikTok's pretty cool. So he put down Spotify after month one. He put down YouTube after month two. We're on month three now. And Johnny decides to go to TikTok, where Chris here manifests, I've stayed on Spotify three months in a row. Oh, wow. Now not only do I have 200 monthly listeners, I have 1,000 monthly listeners. Okay, Johnny gets tired of TikTok and realizes that's a lot of work and viral videos are a little harder than he thought. And so he jumps to the next thing and then to the next thing where manifest the focused artist here. My smart music business peeps leave a comment below. You're focused. And now at the end of the year, you got 100,000 monthly listeners. You got a feature with this person, a collaboration with this person, and you're growing and you have this thing called momentum. And Johnny's wondering, like, well, what did I do wrong? My music's better than his. My songs are better than his. I'm more talented. I'm better looking. I'm better. It's not how it works, bro. It's about the focus. It's about the relentless, non-stop focus. Instead of all these half-built businesses inside your business, which is your music, you've got all these little things that you've started that you didn't finish. Right, all these songs on your hard drive. I think it was my man Cato who posted. Uh, he's showing his earnings from all his uh, beats, and he's like, "This is why I don't leave, you know, unused beats just sitting on my hard drive. I make them working for me." You know, you guys have a lot of fit unfinished songs, a lot of unfinished and unrealized dreams. Is because you love to start stuff. You love to start a new book, start a new idea, but you hate finishing it. And you want to know why? Because finishing is hard. You know, it's like that mix engineer, man, like the mix engineers that can like that are like top one percent, like they know how to take a song to the to, to the finish line. Same with a producer, man, a producer that can like make a song sound like a record and not just like another demo, but like a real record, right? A real finished record. I want to invite you guys to the next 10x your fan base challenge. It's uh, May 23rd. It's on Monday. It's going to be awesome. It goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's five days with me. Okay, I'm going to be training. I'm going to be talking about Spotify, building your email list, running ads, 10xing your fan base. Shouts out to Grant Cardone, my man. And um, it's going to be awesome. Um, you can either do the the dollar for the, the uh, general admission or you do the 50 bucks, which is VIP ticket, so that you can ask me questions over Zoom every day for a week and we're going to blow it up. I charge over a thousand dollars an hour to talk with me one-on-one -on, -one on coaching, which you can do that if you want. You can go to smartmusicbusiness.com forward slash coaching. You can book a 30 minute or a one hour, or you can go to this challenge, smartmusicbusiness.com or 10xyourfanbase.com forward slash live challenge. And uh, you can commit man from 11 to one, two hours a day, two hours a day, commit. Let's do this. Will the re replays, the replays only last for 24 hours and then they're gone. Why? Because I want you to sprint and focus and tear into something and really move the needle this year. I'm hungry. I was tired for a second earlier. I was, but I'm hungry again. I'm hungry again. And I get inspired even making these videos for you. Why? Because it's another biblical principle that he who refreshes others, he will be himself refreshed. And so if you want to get refreshed, go help someone. Go encourage somebody. Go promote your friend's album. Go post it. And just show some love, man. Encourage someone. Go encourage another artist friend right now. Go share your song to their stories. Just cuz. And share some love. And tell me what the 
response is and, and how much they, they might not appreciate it. They might, but just do something good. Go, go help somebody else out and um, watch how that just pumps you up. Okay. I hope to see you May 23rd. It's going to be freaking awesome. Peace.